Hello everybody, we're doing a bit of a fun thing today. Let's talk about the Holy Bible. I borrowed my dad's one because, gotta have a look at the old thing. I mean, it's the fucking Bible, you cunt. Anyway, moving on. On the cover, we have a little hologram. I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera, but Jesus and his mates are just chilling at the table. And look, everything else is moving around. It's an earthquake, they're gonna die. He already did. We also have a bit of cool shit on the end of the pages. That's pretty sexy. Aesthetically saying this book is marvellous. Moving on, we open her up. What other features could this crazy book have? Well, you're probably thinking that's where it ends. You've got some cool little stuff in the edges of the pages. you got a little hologram on the front. And then, holy crap! Pictures! Look at all the pictures. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Just look at the pictures. And you're probably thinking to yourself, the crazy old Bible's going to stop there at pictures. But then it hits you with a little bit of a whoosh, whoosh, because now we're going to mix it up, get a little bit cultural, get a little bit fancy. Look at the art. Look at the art. Look at the art. Check out the art. It's Jesus. It's art. You've got to look at the art. Look at it. Look at the art. We've had pictures. We've had art. When's it going to stop? Please make it stop. But it doesn't because... This book is amazing. This book is unlike any other book I've ever read. I mean, dare I say it, I could even say I'm going to believe. I can't believe in this book. It has red writing. Red. Look at the red. Can you see the red? Look at the red in this book. Unbelievable. So after examining our good old friend Mr. Bible, I must say presentation and surprises throughout the book are there. I might even detract some of the statements I've made about it being crappy. It was a good story, the parts I read, especially... Oh my god, I can't believe I found this when I first opened it. You will be a maze. Proverbs! The Proverbs of Solomon and the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. You can crush your enemies under your feet with intelligence and logic. Okay, so I can't fucking read, alright? Fuck you.